What's up guys, welcome back to the channel in another video. Now, if you don't know, it's starting to get really cold in Detroit. Cold. I'm from Florida. Mm, okay. So I wanted to paint myself a little springtime because it's kind of sad outside. It's always overcast, cloudy. It's getting really cold. So these are the colors we're gonna be working with. I have a fluorescent pink, emerald green. We have like an, a nice, beautiful kind of evergreen colored green. I mixed a couple colors together to make that one and uh, lime green and the titanium white. With the titanium white, it's gonna be the base too. I've added a small amount of silicone to each one of these, one to two drops of silicone. Other than that, it was a one part paint to two part pouring medium mix. It leaves me with a trace of about one. I don't know if you can see that really well, but the trace is about one. You can see the silicone's already trying to do its thing in, in the piles, which is crazy. But this one, I wanted to make it a little simpler. It is gonna be a flip cup because I kind of really like the simplicity of the flip cup. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna just layer this cup and we're gonna do it to it. So whatever you layer on the bottom of the cup always ends up on the top layer of the paint. So that's why I wanna start with this lime green that's a beautiful bright color. I'm not sure if you can see me layering this, so I'm gonna put this a little closer. But yeah. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing amazing. It's because of you that I do what I do. And I do it every single day with a smile on my face because it brings me joy to know that I might be bringing just a little bit of happiness to somebody else, you know what I mean? I've been trying to answer the comments from that one video I posted about how I started. And it's, it's difficult, guys, to read everybody's traumas and try to give you guys good, meaningful responses. And I am trying, and I'm getting through them. It is just taking me a little longer than I want. I have a good feeling that these colors are gonna end up really, really cool together. So with some of them, I am letting them churn. Like this emerald green, I will let it churn through just a little bit because pushing through those other layers of green won't make any bad color combinations. If anything, it'll help it blend a little bit better. And the white pushing through all the colors isn't going to hurt anything either. It will add a little bit of light and vibrance to the colors that are already there. But yeah, so I don't know. It's been a dark, dreary day. And I'm a positive, upbeat person. So I'm just going to bring the spring to me, if that makes sense. The reason I chose pink was because I was thinking of flowers in the trees and bushes and branches and then a little bit of white maybe for the sky. But yeah. I'm trying to have nice, even layers as we go through. Because three ounces should definitely be enough to cover this, especially with the base coat. And the base coat is gonna be a white also, so hoping that it kind of adds to it, if you know what I'm saying. So let me see. I'm trying to see right now oh, there's something, yes. So I'm trying to get something to put over this, so that way when I do flip it, I can just slide it off onto the canvas. I put a small amount of this base coat down. I already know that I'm gonna get some spillage, but we'll probably minimize that as much as we can. 
There we go. Let me wipe off some of that excess off the spatula. All right. Yeah, some of the colors that are coming out of that are some really pretty greens. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Put a nice base coat down. I'm very excited for this pour, you guys. So right now, while I'm waiting for all the colors to kind of settle, I mean, to get a kind of idea, that was the spatula that was contacting the paint. So it's, it's looking pretty wicked already. This is exciting though. All right. I think we're ready. Once I move this out of the way, we are. All right, so let's flip this puppy and see what we get. Now I don't like to lift it straight up because then it leaves that ring right in the center. I always try to flip it at an angle and that's just my preference. I like letting the paint kind of flow out. We've got some really wicked looking cells. That's pretty right there. We did get some bubbles. But yeah, look at that in the center. All those little pink juicy cells in there. Now that's beauty. Wow. So I'm gonna add a little bit of heat so we can see what it does. Because it's gonna pop those bubbles, but it's also going to help that silicone work its way, do its magic. And it's definitely doing some magic right now. Dang. Well, that looks like a happy little springtime. <laughs> it does to me anyway. Man, all right. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. I don't want a whole bunch of that rolling under. I kind of love that that right here is in the middle. This, I could lose that. That's a lot of darkness in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put more of what I want towards the middle before I start the spin. Because I'm very happy with this. Very, very happy with that. So, we're gonna give it a spin. Just a little spin would be more than enough. And we managed to keep, well, that looks like a little skull now, doesn't it? That's different. <laughs> Some of the cells are really wicked looking. Hmm. All right. Let me, I'm all out of white, but I do have some leftover black. It's just having a really hard time getting across that corner in particular. And then I could spin it the opposite direction, just so slightly, enough to where it starts to work that little bit of black off the edge. And there you go, the black is gone. Man, look at these cool little cells, guys. And then there's these big wonky cells in there too. And now I'm gonna apply heat for the last time and see if there's any more beauty hiding underneath these layers. I'm already seeing some cells popping up, starting to peek out from between those layers just trying to show their faces. This is beautiful. I do like how the pinks are really super subtle. We're getting some really cool cells in here. This is fantastic, guys. I love this one. What do you guys think about this one? I love how the pink is, it's predominant, but it's not completely taking over. And in the middle, it does give me kind of, it looks like lily pads almost, the way the uh, cells stretched. 
but let me bring you guys down and check this thing out. I'm stoked about this one, guys. You can see all those tiny little cells in there. And then we got a lot of beautiful pinks on the outside. I don't know about you guys, but this one definitely is giving me like springtime vibes. I love it. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.